Good day, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Cute Craft. So last episode was a very fun one because we got ourselves a lovely Pegasus. Peg I was going to say Pegasaurus. Um, Pegasus pet, but although Pegasaurus is kind of a fun name. I feel like that could be the same. A lot of you guys were saying Peggy, which I was going to do until that just slipped and I was like, Pegasaurus is kind of everything. So um, your new name will be Pegasaurus once we, can we make name tags? I wonder if that's a possibility, a name tag? Nope, we still have to find it. Okay, so you can be named for a little bit, um, but I am currently in creative mode because I'm going to be building um, the Rapunzel Tower right here. So basically, um, we are going to need a couple of blocks. Now, originally I was going to do it in that cobblestone, but I don't really like that. So I wanna do it in white, something white. I don't know, maybe I'll do it in the, hmm. I need to think about this because everyone else's texture is going to be different. Because I kind of like the white sandstone, like the chiseled. I feel like that would be kind of cute. Um, let's see what that looks like, but let's also see what white concrete looks like. So let's pretend this is the tower. Okay, I kind of live for that because it gives it some texture. That just looks wrong. Okay, so I think we've agreed with myself that it's going to be white sandstone like this. And let me pull up a picture for myself so I have a reference. Okay, so it's like a white, it's like a white cobblestone-y um, tower, which this kind of fits. And then it goes into like a, well, there's actually like a couple of versions. You know what? I'm just gonna do my own version. So we're gonna do a pink bottom. We'll do pink terracotta, and then we need purple for the roof. I really like this purple glazed terracotta. Okay, so thinking this will be like that. Maybe we'll do another pink. That's a really pretty color for the roof. I just don't know if this pink terracotta really goes. I think we might need some brighter. But I don't like that texture. You know what? I'm just gonna have to figure this out on my own. Um, I will <coughs> update you guys with um, the progress. So uh, remember that time I said I would update you guys with the progress? Well, um, Joey got a little carried away and this tends to happen whenever Joey builds. Um, I end up watching a bunch of YouTube videos and I get too ahead of myself and I just keep going and I forget to check in with you guys. So I've actually finished the tower and I'm feeling really happy with it and I'm ready to damn expose myself and revealing the creative genius master builder himself, Joey Damgraceffa presents to you Rapunzel's Castle. Da, da, da. Wow, look at it, it's beautiful. Here, let's go up here so we can get a higher up angle on the tower. Wow, it's so magical looking. Um, this took me uh, quite a few hours to do, but I'm very happy and proud of it. So um, I guess it's time for the grand tour. So I enhanced the little pond down here a little bit um, just to make it super cute down here. And let me show you around. So. The normal way that I'm thinking of getting up there and down there is probably with Pegasus, or Pegasaurus, I should say. Um, but I was realizing, I was like, wait, if I'm on him and I leave him up there, I'll have to jump down and kill myself, which I don't wanna do. So, oh, you know what? I actually have another idea, which I'll do in this video with you guys. Um, so let's say I leave him up there and I need to go get him. I created a secret passage right there, just like that, with an elevator inside that will take me straight up to the tower. So this is just, the elevators don't go that high up, so I had to have like a um, stopping ground. But this is the inside of the tower. Um, I'm going to decorate it 
later on as the series progresses and I find lots of cute things that Pegasaurus will love. <gasps> Look at the moon. Oh my God, this is so freaking magical. <gasps> wow, I love this. Okay, so there's a little um, deck that I can fly Pegasaurus into and then he can just, you know, chill in here. And who knows, maybe I'll get him some friends um, that he can play with. And uh, yeah, I don't know, I just think this is so cute. Why does it always freaking rain? <gasps> okay, so I have another idea. So I've seen some elevators that go sideways. So what if I made an elevator that went from here to there somehow? I might have to be in my bedroom because that's like the same level. So let's, let's see what that would look like. Um, although I could maybe have it that way. I'm just trying to think, what's the, what equals each other? Here, I'll show you guys um, also what it looks like from an aerial view. Look at how freaking gorgeous this is. I am very proud. Honestly, this is one of my best builds I think I've done. Um, I'm just very proud of it. I think it looks stunting and it looks very similar to the real thing. Minus the long blonde wig coming down. <laughs> Um, but I made the, the vines out of leaves just so they were bigger and stood out more because the vines just didn't really look that cute. But anyways, let's see. So if this goes straight across, what's the furthest point over here that I could potentially do? Something like this would take me over here into this. That doesn't really work. I mean, I could also have the elevator floor... over here let's see let's say we put it here and we want to go I think it goes sideways I don't know we'll see let's actually test this out I want to go this way how does this work what does this mean rotating elevator hmm Okay, just kidding. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Um, but let me go back into game mode. Hello, Pegasaurus. Okay, let's see how this works. Let's hope you can get in here nice and easily. <gasps> wow, it works so well. Pegasaurus, what do you think? Do you love it? Do you live? Do you die? Tell me. You know what? You need some armor and stuff. Let's see how we can get you that stuff. Is it unicorn? Nope, it's, oh, but hold on. What is this? Nag, oh, why did that come up as unicorn? Oh, tunic, ha. <laughs> Wait, a unicorn horn? Where the hell do those come from? There are unicorns, look, you can spawn one. Okay, so there are unicorns out there. That's freaking fantastic. But let's look at peg, <gasps> I guess it's better. Let's um look up armor. There we go. <gasps> Hold the freaking phone. I didn't know you could tame the damn dragons and give them armor. Are you freaking kidding me? What? Oh my gosh. Diamond Hippogriff, you can also, oh my God, you can get the Hippogriffs. What the hell is this damn game? I'm so freaking excited. But where are those hoof things? That's what I'm looking for. Hold on, let's just scroll through. There was definitely something. I don't know if you can create it. Oh, you know what? I could put a flu powder network up here. That way I can teleport. Duh, Joey. Oh, I'm so dumb. So dumb sometimes. Wow, look at how freaking gorgeous these pickaxes are. We need to collect all of these. I'm freaking obsessed with this series. This is so freaking fun. There's so much damn to do. Okay, so anyways, going back to searching for the armor. Oh my gosh, remember when Megan and I got the Yeti armor? Oh, that was so fun. I think there's definitely an update to um, the Twilight Forest, so I'm excited to try that out again. But I feel like Megan and I definitely have to go back into the Twilight Forest together. If she dares do it without me, you guys rip her damn wig off. What the hell? Oh, here it is, okay. They're called 
horseshoes. Okay, let's take a look-see, shall we? So, I don't know if these are for horses or what, but I feel like you could put it on the Pegasus, right? So there's diamond, emerald, iron, gold. I do have a lot of gold, so I feel like we could potentially make that right now. <gasps> That's so easy. So we can make the golden horse. I don't have an emerald though, so we can't make the horse armor, but we can make the shoes. Invincible horse armor? What the hell is it? Oh, that must be a drop, a rare drop. We're definitely gonna need a lot of emeralds. Okay. So, ha, 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 ha. what's an oracle? I don't know what that is. Guys, there's so many fun things in this mod. I don't even know what anything is. There's wands. A wand of fireball. I want these. I need everything. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, let's go back home. Girl. Oh, there you are. Pegasaurus. I need you to take me back over here. Come on, let's fly. There we go. And let's go make you some damn golden horseshoes, which I hope you can actually wear, um, but who knows. Okay, so we have gold ingots. I need a crafting table down here. I need to change the skin of the crafting table because it's not cute. Okay, here we go. Golden horseshoes. Rainbows and blue moon. Pots of golden rainbows and the red balloons. Okay, let's see. Hopefully this is for you. If it's not, we'll probably need it eventually for someone else. Um, okay, so we have, oh, yep. Girl, <gasps> look at your Goldilocks damn shoes, girl. And she can have just regular horse armor. What is that for? Wings? Can she get wings or, or something? <laughs> What is this? A spirit tree sapling? I want a spirit tree. That's so freaking pretty. Okay, cool. Well, girl, you are just, look, look at your damn shoe. Oh, she's looking at them. She's like, mm-hmm, girl, I look good. I look good with my golden shoes. She sure damn does. Okay, so I say the next thing we do is build a flu powder network up there. Oh, I'm just walking all over this. Um, so let's go up there. Let's make a flu powder network. Hopefully it doesn't set her on fire. That would be kind of bad. I'll put, no, I don't know. I don't think she'd be able to fit in there. You know what? We can test it out. I'll get a bucket of water ready just in case. All right, girl, come on. We gotta go. Yeehaw! Okay, let's do the fire pit here. I have a feeling that this is gonna set everything on fire, actually. So, this is probably not a great idea to do next to all this wood. So, hold on just a second. So let's go down a level. And let's just do the flu powder network right in here, shall we? We damn shall, because nothing can catch on fire in here. Okay, I'm adding as Pegasaurus Tower. We will add this flint and we will add the flu powder. I'm hoping nothing gets burnt down. If this tower freaking burns down, I'll be so upset. <gasps> There's more people on the network. Okay, we'll go to here. Wow. How freaking fun is that? Okay. Pegasaurus tower, go. Yes, God. Oh, cancel. Oops. There we go. We're here at Pegasaurus Tower. This is freaking amazing. Oh, I love this. I love the freaking Blue Powder Network. This is so freaking fun. I am just so happy. I am beyond freaking happy. Happy as can be. Hello, Pegasaurus. You're looking mighty gorgeous today. In this rainy weather. Oh, let's go for a flight, shall we? Look at us soaring through the sky this rainy day. Oh, it's just so magical. Wow, look at us. This is so freaking cool. Okay, so I'm really loving the fact that I am like adding all these fun places. 
like buildings and stuff. We definitely need to work on something for over here for all the animals. So if you guys have any suggestions of other things to build in the series, um, please let me know in the comments down below because I would love to keep adding fun things like this. Um, just like magical cutesy things um, that I can add to my area. Um, perhaps other Disney movie things, I don't know. Um, but yeah, send me pictures on Twitter as well. If you guys aren't following me, add me on Twitter and um, I uh, will check out all the stuff you send. But this is so freaking cool. I'm obsessed. Alrighty, well, I think I'm going to end today's episode here. I know it was probably on the shorter side, but as you guys know, building actually takes so freaking long. So for me, it feels like this episode's gone on for two days. So um, yeah, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Good damn.